There might be some hope for Houston native Brittany Griner. Russia says that it is ready to discuss prisoner swaps with the U.S. government. This is all coming one day after the WNBA star was found guilty of drug charges and sentenced to nine years in prison. Fox's Madeline Rivera is in Washington tonight with the latest from the White House. I'm hopeful. We're working hard. The White House signaling negotiations to bring American basketball star Brittany Griner back from Russia are still a top priority. The renewed focus comes one day after President Biden condemned a Russian court, calling Griner's nine and a half year sentence for bringing cannabis oil into the country unacceptable. There's no other place but to be hopeful and to do the work uh, that we need to do to get this done. We put forward as you know, a substantial proposal uh, that Russia should engage with us on. The White House has not confirmed reports. The U.S. has offered a prisoner swap for Griner and former Marine Paul Whelan. Russia has long pushed for the release of Russian arms dealer Victor Bout, who is serving a 25-year sentence in the U.S. for crimes including conspiring to kill Americans. On Friday, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Russia is ready to discuss an offer. We are ready to discuss this topic but within the framework agreed upon by the presidents, Putin and Biden. U.S. relations with Russia are now at their lowest point since the Cold War, following the Russian invasion of Ukraine. And those tensions could complicate any potential negotiations. Regardless of how you feel about Brittany Griner's case, that sentence is clearly political. There's no denying that. Despite the uphill battle, Whelan's brother is holding out hope that his brother will come home soon. Hopefully uh, the U.S. government will find a resolution. Hopefully the Russian government will agree to uh, the offer and uh, this will all come to an end. Russia says it won't discuss the prospect of a transfer publicly, saying megaphone diplomacy is a mistake. In Washington, Mala Rivera, Fox 26 News.